Welcome back to Quick Fix Window, guys. In this new video, I'm going to show you that how you can fix your TPM 2.0 problem in your PC. Basically, TPM is needed for the Windows installation and to play Valorant. So, in this video, I'm going to show you that there are three methods that you can enable your TPM in your PC. First method is that you can enable your TPM from your BIOS. But if you find TPM option in your BIOS, you can simply go ahead and enable it. So the first step is to simply turn your TPM from your BIOS. The second step is to turn your TPM manually from your computer. So what you have to do, you have to simply go to your search icon and type here device manager. Simply click on it. So you have to locate here security devices. If you're not finding security icon option, so you have to simply click stop, click on action. Now click on add legacy hardware now you will be getting this pop-up menu of hardware wizard simply click on next now choose this install the hardware that i manually select from a list click on next now you have to locate here security devices simply scroll down locate for security devices click on next now you have to simply click on trusted platform module 2.0 click on next now click on finish now doing this method if you not found it again so you have to go to view go to show hidden devices now you will find your security devices here so simply open it and click this trusted platform module 2.0 double click on it and go to drivers and you have to update trusted platform module now you have to first update your drivers from here now you have to go to browse my computer for drivers let me perform a list of available drivers on my computer click on it now you have to untick this show compatible hardware and select this trusted platform module 2.0 not 1.2 now click on next now finally the TPM 2.0 is activated in your PC so the third method that I notice in my PC that when I install the Windows 11 in my PC my PC needed the TPM 2.0 but when I install Windows 10 a clean installation then you can see here and you can watch that video so my TPM 2.0 issue is resolved and I can play Valorant. So if your TPM 2.0 is not fixing, so you can try third method also. You have to do a clean installation in your PC. So guys, I hope you will find this video hopeful. So if you find this video hopeful, thumbs up the like button and subscribe for more interesting content.